What's up guys, it's your friendly neighborhood I Henry. Welcome back to another episode. Today, what we are going to be talking about is the Samsung Space Monitor. Let's go ahead and get started. The Samsung Space Monitor was the monitor of choice for my recent desk setup video, which I'll leave that in the link in the description. Basically, what this monitor is, is it conserves space on your desk so that you not only get the best viewing angle, but you also get to basically preserve your entire desk space. It has at least 30 different tilts that you can do. So the different settings that this monitor has, um, and I'll just go over the main three and the ones that I typically use. So the first is all the way back, which I like to call flat mode. So basically it is completely flat up against the wall. Um, keep in mind if you have a picture frame like I do, um, it is gonna interfere with that. So make sure that you don't push your desk all the way against the wall if you got a picture frame there because you don't wanna damage it. So the second one that I do is about halfway here. Um, this is the best viewing angle when I gotta do a lot of typing, um, but really that's all that I do when it's up this close. And then there is what I call max mode, which is basically where it's all the way, let me move my mouse and keyboard, all the way up to my face like that, where it is literally right there. Things to keep in mind about the Samsung Space Monitor, it is a 4K panel. Um, you can go up to 60 hertz. You do have to have a docking station or adapter that supports it. The HDMI cable that comes in the box does support 60 hertz. It does. However, my docking stations that I have, one of them actually broke recently, and the second one works, but it only supports 30 hertz. So with my really old, my really old Surface Book 2, wait, there's something good that actually came out of it. Woo! I had this Insignia adapter. Um, it was about $20 from Best Buy. Anyway, long story short, I have an adapter that works. Now, here's another thing to keep in mind. You wanna make sure you don't go cheap on a adapter like I did because the response time is gonna be a little differentiating when you first turn it on. So when you plug in the monitor, it doesn't come up right away. It takes at least 10 seconds for it to actually display anything, but that's because of the adapter that I have. So what's really cool about this space monitor is everything else it keeps in space. So in the back here, there are actually cable management features. What did I do? What did I do? So it's got cable management in the back here. Um, it has two pipelines that you can put the cables through. This, you do have to push it in, keep that in mind. Um, I have a little bit of cable management attached to here. Um, that's why it feeds through the uh, tube. What did I do? Uh, that way it feeds through this tube system that I have here in the back. Um, it's not for any other particular reason. So it really just helps with the cable management of the cables that comes in the box. If you have a, Walter's trying to get on the desk. Don't jump on the, okay. Anyway, um, that, Walter pretty much got me off track of what I was gonna say. I'll just sum it up right here, just get it over with. Get get the get the review over with now get it out so what i recommend this 4k 32 inch monitor i totally would especially when you're crazy about space um oh i remember so two things to keep in mind one adapter that you're using two it is not a touch screen so don't try to touch the screen and use it because it's not a touch screen this is for space and that's also for those who are crazy about video and photo editing. That's what this monitor is really designed for. And that is, I 100% agree with their um, promotion of that, with their uh, advertising. So I totally agree with it. Um, so I, yeah, I would go ahead. That doesn't sound very reassuring. Oh, geez. I recommend this monitor. I'll leave the link down in the description below. Until next time, catch you later. Matane.